Hi fellow Nigerians, I want to bring a message to you today concerning the confusion that is going on right now in Nigeria. It is no more news or secret, so to speak, that the man who we have as the president of Nigeria, he is actually not the Buhari that you and I know. For those of us who campaigned for Buhari at that time, we know very well that the man in Asorok right now, that is not Buhari. I know some of you are living in denial, and you are telling yourself that can never be true. But for those of you who have been following me, if you will look back, I remember the revelations that God gave me for Nigeria before Buhari won the election in Nigeria. I did review to you guys then that Buhari was going to win the election in Nigeria but there will be a power vacuum in Nigeria after Buhari has won the election then Nigeria was going to have a vacuum in the power in the, in the position of power in Abuja and I remember saying very well then the video is still on YouTube up to today I remember saying very clearly then, back then, that there's going to be a mystery that will unfold in Nigeria. Jonathan will not be the president of Nigeria. Buhari will win the election, but he will not become he will not be president of Nigeria. That Nigeria was going to go Nigeria was going to have a vacuum in power. And that it was going to be very strange indeed how there will be nobody in power in Nigeria. That Nigeria will not have a president. But Buhari will win the election, but there will be a power vacuum in Nigeria. Brethren, it is unfortunate that it has, it has happened already, and there is truly a power vacuum in Nigeria, but so many of us have chosen to live in denial. We, we want to look at it that this cannot be true. All these giants in Nigeria, how come and how is it possible that a fake man will be brought to Nigeria. When Buhari went to the hospital in London, I remember posting so many times how we have authentic intelligence that the organ transplant that this guy went for actually failed. The organ, his body reacted very badly to the organ. You know that Buhari was already very old. I mean, this guy was getting to almost 90 years of age. Don't mind this stupidity that they are parading all over the place make it time to convince people that the man is 75 years old. How can Buhari be 75 years old when his own genius is 83 years? I mean, sometimes I just look at Nigerians and I pity our people because it's as if we get so educated, we become so stupid at the end of the day. Because that is one country that can boast of some of the most educated, you know, some of the most educated people anywhere in the world, but it's unfortunate that in the midst of the so many educated people, such a scandalous thing can be taking place, and everybody just sits as if nothing is happening. Everybody just go about their business. You must have to understand this, that a great calamity is taking place in Nigeria. I mean, for, the, for, once, for once in the history of Nigeria, all the service chiefs who are already overdue for retirement, they have all been retained. And you people are not wondering why is this so? There is a very serious agitation going on in Nigeria military right now. And I am telling you, the outcome will not be good. Because the military brats, they already know that we don't have a president. So as many of you as want to continue to live in denial, that we have a president, where well, we don't have a president. Continue fooling yourself until that day it will dawn on you all that those of us who are saying this emphatically, that we don't have a president, that we are the one telling the truth. But we just pray. Our sincere prayer is it will not be too late for Nigerians to wake up to realize that we don't have a president in Nigeria. As it is right now, Nigeria does not have a president. We have a, an imposter who has been brought in
and then have all the top echelon of our intelligence system I won't be bribed to keep quiet. But you see, they may keep quiet, but their subordinates may will not keep quiet. Nigerians are not all fools. Nigerians are not all idiots. So let those political elites, the political top brats who think that they have fooled all of us, let them continue to play this game of charade. And that is why I can tell you guys very clearly. Mark my word, there may be no election in the year 2019 in Nigeria. Mark my word, there may be no election in Nigeria in 2019. There will be a revolution. There will be a terrible revolution. Look, so I've been approached by some people to support Atiku. And I've told them very, very clearly why I will not support Atiku. And my reason is because Atiku is in on this game going on right now. Article is aware of this fraud going on in Nigeria. Baba Basanjo is aware of this fraud going on in Nigeria. T.Y. Danjuma, General T.Y. Danjuma is aware of this fraud going on in Nigeria. And the worst of it all, the one that calls himself a pastor, who has virtually right now become like a fraud star also. That is the Vice President, Professor Yomi Osibajo. Because he thinks... He's a pastor, right? Yes, everybody look at him and he's a pastor. But look, let me tell you one thing. I told him then that if he win, if they win the election in Nigeria and he become uh, an enemy of Nigeria, I am going to become one of the people who will fight against him with everything I've got. Today, I can see categorically and very clearly, Professor Yomi, Yomi Osimbajo has failed God. Professor Yemi Osimbaju has failed in Nigeria. Professor Yemi Osimbaju has become a disgrace to Christianity. He has become a disgrace to the nation of Nigeria. He has become a disgrace to his family. He has become a disgrace to the legal profession that he represents. Because all he needed to do was have a little ball. All he needed to have is a little ball to stand up to the cabal. That has decided to arrange the destruction of Nigeria. He sits there, he calls himself a pastor. He calls himself a legal luminary. And yet, he, do not, he does not have any ball to stand up to evil that is going on. Nigeria is being sold in the open market. Nigeria has been destroyed in broad daylight. And somebody who calls himself a pastor sits there and allow, allows it to happen. Oh... The judgment of all those who call themselves geos and and fathers, or let me use that word fathers, who are all in in for to, for this, who all know what is going on in Nigeria right now, that we don't have a president, but choose to keep quiet. God is going to judge every one of them, fellow Nigerians. Let me tell you one thing: God is going to judge everyone who knows about this. And let me tell you one thing. Uh, the revolution that is coming is going to sweep through Nigeria. Some of these geos, their blood will be spilled in broad daylight. Guys, watch out. Judgment is coming and it's going to be very swift. Judgment is coming and it's going to be very hot. Judgment is coming and it's going to be very terrible. Because everyone who have hand in the destruction of Nigeria, everyone who have hand in this secret of bringing a useless imposter to pretend to be our president, brother, let me tell you one thing. The revolution that is coming, oh, they will be under the trailer. Yes. And God, God is going to judge every one of them. So, brother, let me tell you one thing. The information or the news about the fake Buhari is not a ruse. It is a reality. Take it or leave it. Nigeria does not have a president. Nigeria presently has an imposter. Nigeria presently has a cabal ruling over Nigeria. We don't have a president. Nigeria does not have a president. Aisha Buhari does not have a husband anymore. Buhari never left London alive. The guy who left London was never Buhari. Take my word, take it anywhere. Buhari never left the city of London. Buhari never came back to Nigeria. That guy, that clown who calls himself Buhari right now, was hired to do the job he's doing. 
You guys may want, not want to believe it because we, we choose to live in denial. We are behaving like the ostrich who had their head in the sand when the goings get tough. But very soon, reality will be done on everyone that some of us are not making noise. We are giving you authentic information that Nigeria does have a president. I only pray that it never gets too late. I only pray that this game does not go on for too long because the consequences will be very, very severe. God bless you all.